back everyone, my name is Patrick, you're watching the Oilers Rundown. Lots to go over this morning, some possible trade talk, PTO targets, new management additions. Let's take a look at the latest. Could the Edmonton Oilers bring back Jeff Petrie? Tyson over at Delaney TV raised the question this morning, and I thought I'd add my two cents to the discussion. Jeff Petrie was part of the blockbuster Eric Carlson trade deal this morning, heading back to Montreal from Pittsburgh with 25% of his salary retained. Nice to see that deal finally get done, with some excellent work done there by Sharks GM Mike Greer. I think every team in the trade did well. Sportsnet's Eric Engels reported following the trade that Montreal will be looking to move Petrie once again, and that they would be willing to retain 50% of Petrie's cap hit, making him a $2.34 million cap hit for this season and next. Petrie is a right shot D, the position the Oilers are looking to upgrade at. We know the Oilers are capped out, so a contract would have to go back the other way to make this possible. The obvious choice is Cody Ceci, who's due $3.25 million for the next two years. The next question, is Jeff Petrie an upgrade on Cody Ceci? Here are Jeff Petrie's numbers from last season. A solid season, 61 games played, 5 goals, 26 assists, 31 points overall, and a plus 2 on a team that failed to qualify for the postseason. And here are Cody Ceci's numbers from last season. Keeping in mind that CeCe was battling injuries last year, he finished with one goal, 14 assists for 15 points, and was a plus 11. He had one assist in the postseason and was a minus 5. Another thing to take into account is their age. Petrie is 35, turning 36 in December. CeCe is just 29. The numbers lean towards Petrie, but will age become a factor. They are both signed for two years, so it's not a long-term commitment either way, but still something to consider. Another thing to consider is Petrie's 15-team no-trade list. It was my understanding he wanted to play in the United States for family reasons, but at the same time, Montreal wasn't on his no-trade list. Is Edmonton on there? If we say Jeff Petrie is better overall, and Montreal is retaining 50% to make this deal happen, then you better believe the Oilers will need to add a sweetener. Not saying the Oilers will do this, but you know Montreal will be asking for Xavier Borgo. Let's see how this goes. I'd say it's possible, but probably more likely that Petrie ends up with an American team. In today's Nine Things article at the Cult of Hockey, Kurt Levins revealed two other targets he could see the Oilers going after for PTO contracts. Right shot center Nolan Patrick and right shot center Colin White. Nolan Patrick was famously the number two overall pick in 2017 by the Philadelphia Flyers and has had nothing but bad luck ever since. You have to feel for the guy. He's battled injuries his entire career and could never break through and reach his potential. He's 6'2", 201 pounds. He had all the makings of a star center. Unfortunately, his career high is 13 goals and 31 assists. He spent the last two seasons with the Vegas Golden Knights. He didn't play at all last year and only appeared in 25 games the year before, collecting two goals and five assists. He was 48% on the faceoff dot that season. He would certainly be an interesting reclamation project, and I'd be open to see him come in on a PTO. If he earns a contract, it would be a variable one if need be, so it's very low risk for the Oilers. Colin White appeared in 68 games last season for the Florida Panthers, collecting 8 goals and 7 assists for 15 points, and added 2 assists in 21 playoff games. White comes in at 6'1", 194 pounds, and was 50% on the faceoff dot last season. I like both targets for the Oilers, and we know they prefer to have a right shot center for the fourth line. Not much new to report on Evan Bouchard from Kurt Levins, just the waiting game until next week, when Bouchard is expected to sign a two-year deal in the $3.9 million range per season. Kurt did a great rundown on the hiring of Jeff Jackson, which you should definitely check out. It's a progressive hire for the Oilers, and one all of oil country is very excited about. I'll take a look at the Oilers' succession plan more throughout the season, but with the expected departure of Steve Steos to Ottawa, my money is on Brad Holland to become the next Oilers GM next summer. As Kurt notes, Brad seems to be a great fit with Jackson, and I could see them moving forward together. I also wouldn't be shocked at all to see Dave Gagne, father of Sam Gagne, and former colleague of Jeff Jackson at Wasserman, join the Oilers in a development role or management role next summer. Well, that's all I have for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Jeff Petrie, Nolan Patrick, Colin White in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest 
Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers, Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.